Let's repair and repaint a doll. A friend of mine owns this doll, and she discovered a scratch on the right cheek. She thought she could lightly sand it and get rid of it herself, which is one way of getting rid of scratches in makeup. However, as you can see here, when she started sanding, it became much bigger than a scratch. So then she sent it to me to try to fix it. I started by taking the doll apart so I could get to the faceplate. Then I started lightly sanding with a medium grit sandpaper. My goal was to try to smooth out the transition between doll skin with makeup and doll skin without makeup. Then I went in with finer and finer grits of sandpaper to really polish the plastic. Because if there are any scratches, the pan pastels will definitely show it. Then I sprayed the face plate with Mr. Super Clear. After that dried completely, I went back in to start adding the shadows. I used a high quality soft pan pastel for this. You have to be careful though because the pigment in these pan pastels goes a long way. It's extremely easy to overpaint a doll while using them. After the shading was done and I sprayed with Mr. Super Clear again, I began adding in the blush. This doll originally had pretty dark colors around her eyes. So I tried to replicate that to the best of my ability. And I think I did a pretty decent job. So after giving her a final spray, it was time to put her back together. Starting with replacing the eye mechanism. I talk about T-bars a lot, so I wanted to give you a good shot of it. After installing the T-bar, it's time to feed the pull strings through the back plate. There are two holes in the back where normally a spring attaches. But, because this doll has been modified to have something called sleep eyes, the spring is no longer needed. So now, we can feed the pull strings through those two holes, and then attach the charms. Then it's time to attach the scalp to the face plate. The scalp attaches to the faceplate with this kind of ton and groove and screw mechanism. I really struggled to get some video of this for you folks. It's really dark and awkward in there, so it's difficult to get a video. Which is kind of why I skip past it in other videos I've made. Then we place the body in the neck joint. And click the back plate into the faceplate. That part's kind of satisfying. Then replace the three screws in the back. And I think she looks pretty good. I don't normally like to modify another artist's artwork, but if the doll isn't going to be loved by its owner, then what's the point? Now this doll has many more years of happy play ahead of her. If you like this, please hit subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And as always, have a delightful day.